Hey, Jesse, it's great to meet you. I was hoping you could tell our audience what the big challenges facing power distribution networks are today, particularly with the growth in renewable energy. Yeah, hi, Steve. Last year, we shared some forecasted data of the new renewable energy in China, but now the number seems to be quite complicated. Take China as an example. By the end of last year, the total installed capacity of renewable energy in China reached 1.450 gigawatts, of which the distributed PV was about 370 gigawatts. And also the number of EV cars in China also reached 31 million, which is incredible. And so that we think the biggest concern in China is still definitely the massive access of new loads and also the new energy generation. And solar power can be too much to be consumed the new, leading to a heavy reversal of loading and asset damage to the distribution transformers. I think the same story happened in a lot of countries in regions like Europe and Southeast Asia. But at the same time, we think the traditional challenges still haven't gone away. In different countries and regions, they are facing different challenges and having different priorities for both services, for example, like system losses and power reliability. I know that Huawei has launched the intelligent distribution solution to deal with issues like this. Is it being used today? And can you give me some examples of the benefits that it's delivered? Yeah, last year we officially launched the idea solution and right now we are continuously refining the solution with our ecosystem partners for device scenarios with our customers. And we think it is pretty to this finding technology for scenarios, making our customers widely favor uh, our solution. And at present we have made good progress in more than 10 countries and regions all around. But to be honest, the idea solution first started out with Cooperation with S uh, GCC Shanxi, and I'd like to share the latest outcome and the uh, digital transformation and practices from State Grid Shanxi. Right now, ECU have been deployed in all public transformer districts in Shanxi province, and also the company has also developed more than 33 as computer databases with the ECU. And now State Grid Shanxi can locate calls and notify users within three minutes and calculate levels every 15 minutes. Shanxi company has also implemented group management and control for the PV stations and also the charging pipes. And besides, we are on the cooperation offering on-demand innovative services such as current leakage management. And these innovations coordinate cloud, medium voltage communication, edge computing, and also low voltage communication, which we mean the edge PVC. The combination has effectively addressed nearly all the issues in the low voltage side. This is how Shanxi made it. Everyone's talking about AI today. Could you give me Huawei's perspective on some of the promising applications of AI in the power industry? Well, AI for science has been widely applied for production operations of the power system, especially in areas such as new energy prediction and load prediction. For example, in this patching system, we quickly finding the best solution in a million dimension decision space, ensure the optimal resolution of multiple tasks effectively coordinated peak load shaping and the secure operation of the power grid. AI also systemically enhances distribution every strengthening transformer district management. It introduced layered and classified intelligence, such as deep seek, which is really popular these days. And we think the next generation transformer district should support transformer district autonomy and local balance. And also the AI-based intelligence substation solution can realize less man or even unmanned oil at the substation, improving the safety, efficiency, and accuracy. Thanks, Jesse. That was really interesting. And it's very exciting to hear about all of these amazing developments in the power industry. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your time in Barcelona.